That one's hovering. That's from making independent films, you learn. Yeah. Hold the roll. I, I didn't break any rules. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have rules. You got about one more bite. <laughs> what inspired Chef, I think, was wanting to get back to, to doing something small where I could hire who I wanted to and tell the type of story I wanted to. The, the tricky part was actually executing it in the amount of time that we had and really capturing the culinary world in a real way. And that's when I hooked up with, with Roy, who had a really good foundation in both the world of food trucks, but also in the traditional French culinary tradition. You better hurry up. <laughs> you better hurry up. That's Andy. I grew up in LA. I met Henry Winkler on Paramount when I was five. You know, um, the Fonz. Yeah, I met the Fonz. Like, my mom used to throw me out to like auditions for cereal commercials when I was young. I never made it. Like, I was always stubborn. Like, when they said smile, I frowned and stuff. But I learned the rules of cooking, you know, progressed throughout the industry. But then, um, I lost everything, and at that moment, I kind of found myself. He had a really yeah. good gig. I and wore a toke, long toke. A big toke, and, and then gave it up and just bought a taco truck, and nobody had ever done anything like that before. To, to leave that behind, to create his own culinary tradition, which was mixing the different influences and foods of Los Angeles and his upbringing. Working with Roy, I didn't know what to expect. I played it off at the beginning. I was like, yo, what's up, what's up? You know, but I was, I've been a huge fan of his. Chefs as a rule are very fastidious and by having him it, it was very helpful because he made sure that every little thing was right. I mean the way we wrap the sandwiches, the type of bread that we use, the way we prepared everything. To also have him oversee my training and, and to work in his kitchens and from prep cook to work in the hotline. We jumped right into it and I just looked at him not like John Favreau the movie director but as like a cook. With that stage set I just opened up my heart. Everything I know was an open book and then in return also be open to it as well. And I learned a lot about storytelling. And now I'm cooking yeah. all the time on my own and now he's, he's a filmmaker. Whenever I've taken a risk creatively, it's always paid off if, I, if I've been passionate. Whether it was Swingers, you know, writing a script, trying to get it made myself way back when, or taking on bigger projects when I didn't really know how yet. Even with Chef, where I decided to do something kind of small and personal that I didn't know if people would, would respond to. Sometimes they pay off commercially, sometimes they pay off as far as inspiration goes. My risk is standing right behind us. It allowed us to be ourselves. You know, sometimes in life you don't get to fully be yourself, like your ugly <laughs> self, your beautiful self. Like, Kogi allowed us to just be ourselves, imperfections and all. By doing Kogi, it opened up this creativity in me that I didn't know I had. The rules are certainly changing, especially when it comes to scaling you know, your operation, be it a food truck, a small film. We didn't have traditional marketing in the same way that a big movie does. A lot of it was social media and word of mouth. What's been fun, it started off kind of as a promotional thing, was to do pop-ups and serve the Cuban sandwiches from the movie. And people want that Cubano. It's like a lightsaber from, from Star Wars. Like, they get out of the movie and they want that Cubano. They want it to be real. They want Carl to be real. They want that whole El Jefe to be real. And it kind of is real. Yeah, they kind of Because that experience of making the movie was like the food truck. Who'd think that from making a movie, I'd end up serving food to people. So we felt we connected with people and, and the food, the one bad thing is that they all say, oh, was it as good as it looked? And like, it was. Thank you. <laughs>